Regular expressions are a string of characters um, that can be used to search and find special patterns. Also, regular expressions can be used in the show commands and in the ASPath access list to match the BGP prefixes based on the information contained in the ASPath. Some of the common expressions, uh, caret is start of the string, dollar sign is end of the string, Square brackets specify a range of character. Hyphen is used to specify a range of numbers. Parentheses where you can group in logical grouping. Dot any single character, asterisk, zero or more instance of something. And plus sign is one or more instances of something. Underscore specifies a few things, a comma, open or close parentheses, and it also signifies the start or end of a string or just a space. We're going to take a look at some of the most uh, common examples as well here that we're going to use in our uh, lab later on. But uh, just to take a look at uh, dot asterisk mean anything included uh, we're going to use that in the ASPath access list later caret dollar sign mean locally originated the local AS only and caret ASPath underscore mean learned from 100 and underscore AF dollar as we know from the previous example means that originated from this AS and similarly with underscores on both sides of the AS means that any instance of this particular AS. So let's uh, move on to our topology and we're going to take a look at uh, some of the examples of uh, filtering, how we're going to filter outbound and inbound traffic using uh, BGP regular expressions. First of all, take a look at the outbound filtering. So we have AS8888 that is advertising two prefixes into BGP, ID for route and 8.8.8.8. .8 this These two prefixes going over to AS300 and then they're traversing over to AS1111. We're going to use in this example a AS path outbound filtering where on AS300 we're going to say that we only going to advertise any locally originated routes from AS300 over to AS111. We do not want routes originated by AS8888 to go over through AS300 to AS1111. We see that we're receiving a default from AS8888 over the directly connected prefix 201.0.0.8 and we also receiving a prefix of slash 32 of 8.8.8.8 over the same connected interface and is coming from AS8888. We only want to advertise the locally originated prefix which is the loopback IP address of AS300 that is 3.3.3.3 .3 .3 .3. So by looking at uh, show IP BGP regex caret dollar that says the locally originated only means that IP address of AS300 will be advertised to AS1111. Uh, next uh, let's move on to the PE1 in the AS1111 and take a look at the BGP table on the PE1. So here we see that we have both prefixes originated from AS8888 coming through AS300 arrived in the AS1111. The default route and 8.8.8.8 .8 also coming originated by AS8888 and arriving on 1111 via AS300. So task here today is that we are going to filter outbound on the AS300 so that only locally originated route of loopback of AS300 PE 
is allowed to go outbound towards AS1111. So we're going to create a AS path access list, in this case one, and we're going to permit only locally originated routes. Then we're going to create a route map. In this case, we're going to call it a BGP RX, and we're going to set the match the AS path access list created above, that is one. And finally, we're going to go under the routing process of BGP on the AS300 and attach the route map outbound to the neighbor next stop, which is 13.0.0.1 and set it outbound. Now on the PE1 in the AS111, before we clear the BGP session soft outbound, we take a look at the BGP table and we see that the default and prefix 8.8.8.8 .8 from AS8888 is coming through via AS300 over to PE1 in the AS111. After we applied the outbound route map, now we take a look at the BGP table on the PE1. We see that only prefix from originated from AS300, that is the loopback IP of PE in AS300, is com coming through over to AS100 because of the outbound regex filtering. Next, we are going to take a look at a, a different scenario where we want to actually filter inbound uh, BGP using uh, uh, regular expressions. In this case, we're saying that in the AS111 on PE1, we are going to, if a route is originated by AS8888 or has gone through the AS8888, in this case is originated, we know that, and uh, any route, in this case we know that we have a default and 8.8.8.8, .8 we want to block it incoming into AS111 on the PE1. So we're going to apply a different method, just a different uh, type of a reg regular expression and uh, just to see the inbound filtering. So we're going to create AS path access list in this case too. We're going to deny prefixes from everything from 8.8.8.8 and we're going to permit everything else. So in this case, instead of using route map, we can apply a filter list inbound as we all know, and we're gonna go under the BGP routing process and to the neighbor of 13003, that is a next stop IP address for the peer in AS300. We're going to apply a filter list inbound, and that is going to be filter list two in. Once we applied the filter list inbound using the regex, which is denying the routes from AS8888, before we clear the inbound BGP, we take a look, we can still see that we are receiving two routes from AS800, that is including a default and a slash 32 prefix, and they are coming through via AS300. Next, we're going to do a soft clear of inbound route refresh on the PE1 to, to see if the inbound filter list has taken effect. So we're going to go for the inbound um, a soft clear of the peering and get the route refresh. And now we're going to take a look at uh, the routing table on the PE1 and with the magic of uh, this time filter list using uh, regex in BGP, we have achieved the same result and um, from the AS300 we see that any route that was either origi originated or traversed through AS8888 is not in the BGP table of PE1 in the AS111. I hope that it's been informative and I look forward to see you in the next videos and if you like the channel please subscribe. Thank you.